just say, right, this is what I want to do. And as much as I love doing this, that, or the other, what's more important to me? I remember asking my dad when I was quite young and living in Hong Kong, I said, can I go surfing here? And my dad says, no, there's no surfing in Hong Kong. I was like, I think 41 when I started. <laughs> Big Wave Bay was one beach I came down to. I remember some guy saying, yeah, you know, other girls have tried surfing and they gave up. And I was thinking, not this one. I was like, I'll get this, I don't care how. But yeah, I mean, it's 20 plus years, you know, 20, 25, I'm not sure, yeah, it's a long time. Since I started surfing, there were fewer people, now there are a lot more people. I think a lot of it started after uh, Li Lai Shan won the gold medal for windsurfing at the Olympics in Atlanta. And then suddenly everybody wanted to be into water sports. It's a small beach, and there are not that many waves, OK? I know that fights have started in the water. I get terribly annoyed when somebody else drops in on me, or, you know, I have yelled at people. And I've had people sort of, like, yelling at me, and I'm just thinking, OK, what do you want? What do you want? You know, it's like every man for himself. Sometimes, if I'm all alone, or I don't know anybody else out there, don't feel like chatting, then you know, do a lot of thinking. Yeah, good thinking time. That last typhoon was a bit horrific. It was like garbage all over the place. There was a massive cleanup. Some things got broken. Then that one boat got picked up, blown by the wind. I love that board. And so once I moved in here, I was like, I can't live anywhere else in Hong Kong. It's a totally different place. Being able to come out to the sea all the time. <laughs>